the Microsoft Theater. It's the 2016 ESPYs, presented by Capital One. Now, here's your host, John Cena. I want to start by commending our athletes for their brave message at the beginning of this program. Jimmy V once said, you have a great day if you can think, if you can cry, and you can laugh. That's what I love about this program, because tonight we are going to do all three. With that being said, welcome to the SP Awards. This is that one magical night a year where J.R. Smith wears a shirt. <laughs> My name is John Cena. For those of you who don't know me, I just signed a max contract with the New York Knicks. <laughs> you might recognize me from a movie called Trainwreck. Oh, we got, who's that, Judd Apatow in the back, the one guy? Despite its title, it is not about the 2016 Summer Olympics. Okay, okay, I get it. I get some, some tension in the room. Let's just address it. Why the hell did they get me to host this thing? No, I'm serious, I'm serious. Biggest night in sports? They couldn't go out and get Kevin Hart, Matt Damon, Christoph Porzingis? He was my number one, by the way. Instead, they hand it to a guy who spends most of his life in jean shorts and is actually proud of it. Why? Why did they go get a guy from the redheaded stepchild of sport and entertainment? Why did ESPN get a host from the WWE? I mean, it's rigged. <laughs> did I just spoil the surprise for some of the people? It's scripted entertainment. What we do is fake, right? So I know what you're thinking. Me hosting the SPs, that's crazy. Or is it genius? <laughs> it's time to take a look at yourself, sports, and realize that you're more like the WWE than you have ever imagined. I'm going to start with the NBA. <clears throat> Cleveland won something. <laughs> That's actually impossible. There is no way that that wasn't scripted. Especially when you look at the whole story. Okay, LeBron. You used to be a good guy. And then you turned into a bad guy. And now you're a good guy again? And you left the NBA hanging. What are they going to do when they don't have a bad guy? Exactly what we do. They're going to make a new one. My hat's off to football, though. They got it right this year. Our beloved hero. He was sidelined. Looks like all hope was lost. Helpless in the clutches of his arch nemesis. But in the moment of truth, Peyton comes off the bench, wins the championship, and rides off into the sunset with the love of his life. Uh, I was pushing for you and Papa John. <laughs> but that's not the only thing football gets right. I mean, they build characters. Odell Beckham Jr. <laughs> Hell, he already looks like a WWE superstar. He is one parent away from being Coco Beware. <laughs> but I will admit... Here's the one place that the WWE has you beat, the one thing we have that you don't. Vince McMahon. A maniacal billionaire pulling the strings behind the scenes who uses every trick in the book to manipulate things to his advantage any way he can. Something like that, that is way too crazy for real sports. Or maybe we 
we have more in common than you think. Maybe on the biggest night where sport meets entertainment, they got the perfect host. So let's tell some jokes, right? You guys ready to have some fun? Come on, you guys ready to have some fun? Excellent. So let's start with an awesome story. Cleveland. Cleveland finally ended their 52-year championship drought. How about that, right? Next on Cleveland's to-do list, fix everything else. The Cavs parade had 1.3 million people show up. Take a look at that. 1.3 million people in Cleveland and somehow not one good quarterback. You don't know what I'm talking about. LeBron James is here. Kyrie Irving is here. Kevin Love is here. Pretty good seat, Kev. I expected to see you uh, off in the corner. Alone. Screaming, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open. He's a champ, he'll be all right. Peyton Manning and Kobe Bryant, they retired this year. Let's give it up for two of the all-time greats. Now, Peyton and Kobe's final games had a couple things in common. They were both unforgettable and almost no passing. <laughs> Kobe, my man. What a career! Yeah! Yes! I'm excited too! I want to run right down there and give you a high five. I just really feel like you'd missed the first dozen attempts. Ah, he's going to be fine. You're going to be all right. And so will Kobe's Lakers. Hey, they got Luke Walton, right? He is now their new head coach and their best player. <clears throat> you know, speaking of coaching legends, does anybody else think it's weird that Phil Jackson is reassembling in the Bulls in New York, but not the good Bulls? <laughs> you do think that's weird. Superstar Tim Duncan, he called it a career after 19 seasons. And you know him. Tim Duncan did it in the most stupendous way possible in the middle of the night in the offseason. What a diva, right? Yeah. How amazing Serena Williams. That's what I'm talking about. She has won 22 Grand Slam tennis titles. Serena won Wimbledon last weekend with Beyonce and Jay-Z in the stands cheering her on. Beyonce went because Serena was in her lemonade video. Jay-Z went because now he goes wherever Beyonce tell him to go. <laughs> I see a friend in the audience tonight. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo! You know you're in a room of pro athletes when a guy named Ric Flair is considered sensibly dressed. <laughs> the Rams are here! Don't get too excited. I mean, they're here in Los Angeles. They are not at the ESPYs. The ESPYs are for winners! <laughs> now we're getting going. Finally getting warmed up. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of winners, the NCAA basketball champion Villanova Wildcats are in the house. You know the fans here, that's right. Villanova scored 82 points a game during their incredible tournament run. That is the most scoring at a Catholic school since literally every prom at a Catholic school. They get frisky, you guys know what I'm talking about. Jordan Spieth was about to wear that green jacket at Augusta to that terrible 12th hole. Here's a fun fact. That terrible 12th hole is also the name of Dwight Howard's favorite strip club. He's your problem now, Atlanta. Ooh, too close? Well, speaking of disasters, there is a super bacteria recently found in Rio. Just what the Olympics needed. Another way for Bob Costas to catch pink eye. I like this audience. They're really good. <laughs> Irish golfers, Rory McIlroy, Graham McDowell, and Shane Lowry 
pulled out of the Olympics because of the Zika virus, which is surprising because the Irish aren't really known for pulling out. <laughs> Speaking of finishing, that's my last joke. Are you guys ready to get started with the show?